Good day, my viewers. My name is Olapo Yubamdele. I'm the managing partner of PPS, a, an audit and a consulting firm uh, located in the heart of Ikeja, Lagos, Nigeria. Today, I would like to present to you the tax implications for operators in aviation, shipping, and road transportation as related to the recent changes in tax law tagged Finance Bill 2020. Out of the 81 amendments, and uh, 40, 14 laws that were amended. So this one specifically uh, related uh, to this particular sector, aviation shipping and road transportation. In accordance with the Finance Bill 2020, the following are the major changes taxpayers must pay attention to, especially operators in this industry. One, there's exemption of commercial craft and flight tickets from payment of VAT. The app provides exemption of VAT for commercial aircraft, commercial aircraft engines, commercial aircraft spare parts, and airline ticket issues issued and sold by commercial airlines registered in Nigeria. This resolves the concern of the industry, especially of local airlines as regards the impact of various taxes and le levies in the, on the industry. This exemption of flight tickets will further improve profit margins for the operators, reduce the cost of domestic air travels, and ultimately increase passengers' demand. Two, exemption of aircraft parts and components from custom duties. Imported aircraft, engine, spare parts, and components, whether purchased or leased by commercial airlines registered in Nigeria are now exempted from custom duties. This will lower the cost of doing business for commercial aircraft operators and increase investment in that sector. While the import duty exemption is only applicable to airlines registered in Nigeria, the VAT exemption for the items is not specifically restricted to airlines registered in Nigeria. Three. Duties and levies on motor vehicles have been reduced. Now, uh, motor vehicle, uh, a commercial trans I mean, transport that carry means of 10 persons. The old rate used to be 35 percent, but the new rate, the reduced rate, is now 10 percent. Then, motor vehicle cars, uh, the old rate used to be 30 percent. The revised rate is five percent. Then motor vehicle that trans that, that is used in transportation of goods and commodities, old rate was thirty five percent. The new revised rate is ten percent. For tractors, the old rate used to be thirty five percent. The new rate is now five percent. Four, imposition of capital gain tax on certain ships and aircraft. It limits the tax exemption on any chargeable gains on the disposal of a ship or aircraft to only those used in international traffic. The amendment aims at imposing capital gain tax on the disposal of ships and aircraft operating within Nigeria. So the effective date for the mission starts January 1st, 2021. Uh, should you require further clarification in terms of impact assessment of this these changes in this sector, how it affects your business, or you need some further clarity, we are time to provide assistance to you. Just reach us by any of the numbers put up on the screen there, or send us an email at info, info at pps-charter.com. I will be happy to provide necessary assistance. Till we see you next time. Bye for now.